Uh, as I said, it's uh, the day before the Golden Week gets started. Golden Week being the uh, uh, number of consecutive holidays here in Japan. So um, I've got a little time. I do. My Golden Week is interrupted. I have to go back to work on Friday, but uh, today and tomorrow I've got a little extra time, so I'm doing some extra broadcast. Anyway, we're shopping in Miyahara. Let me. Um, Miyahara is there's my wife. Yep. Say hello, dear. Hello. Um, oh, garlic, lots of garlic. Yeah. Kumamoto garlic. Oh, that's Kagoshima. Kagoshima, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, this uh, this one's drier, right? Or is it? Yeah. yeah. Um, but this is uh, Aomori. This, oh, this is China. This one's China. Yeah. We don't get the Chinese uh, stuff. We always try to buy local as much as possible. Is that all? I mean, you're always using it. And you, yeah, because it's Aomori. Yeah. It's uh, free. It's still. Well, what about the Kumamoto one? I know that's a lot, but we use a lot of garlic and you can freeze it. No, you don't want to? It's still freeze. I'm going to... Okay. All right. Whatever you want to do, dear. Yeah, I mean, that's... Even though it's two ninety nine, these are big. That's a, a big... It's a big garlic clove. It's sunny. It's not sunny. All right. Well, it really smells garlic here. We need carrots. No. Pineapple, oh, Taiwan, Taiwan pineapple, and Kumamoto san. Taiwan, I don't know. But are these, you know, this is the kind that the Japanese like, they're very ripe, you know, so they're sweet and, and ripe. Avocados are 99. Right there? Avocados? Broccoli, broccoli, cauliflower, mushrooms, the delicious shiitake mushrooms. Oh, we need we need shiitake mushrooms for a yakiniku, right? Yeah. yeah. We don't have a link for another uh, here. Yeah. Or, um, oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Better get. Too. Yeah, better get at least oh you know, two two for ninety nine. Yeah, is two enough? Might as well get four. I mean, because it's two for 99, or 59 for one. So, I mean, yeah, get four. Worst case scenario, we can uh, have it for breakfast tomorrow, wrap scrambled eggs in it or something. Carrots, 99 yen for a bag of carrots. So that's give you a good idea. There's the Chinese cabbage, I guess some people call it. We call it haksai. Uh, just a white vegetable because, you know, it's basically white. Haksai used in a lot of, especially like nabes and things like that here in Japan. The nabe, the, the, um, the pots of, you know, things. Do we need any sprouts? They've got the red cabbage and... Uh, For salad. Red cabbage. They don't have broccoli sprouts. Usually they have broccoli sprouts. I don't see any broccoli it's sprouts fine. this time. They've got bean sprouts and uh, the kaiware daikon sprouts. Um, well, here. Let's see. Oh, Jay. Jay is here. Hello, Jay. Uh, konnichiwa. Do you like daikon? Yes. Love daikon. Yeah. Um, uh, you can, you know, cook it up, you know. Uh, it's one ninety nine. One ninety nine for... Uh, Package of strawberry. We yeah, I love daikon. Daikon. We need I think we need some dessert, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, daikon in uh, the the nabe, the the pot, you know, or uh, daikon uh, cooked up with a little bit of uh, mustard and the 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 juice that it's cooked up in, or I. You grate it up and put it on, for example, on steak or something like that. The, the daikon oroshi, they call it. Uh, put it on steak with a little bit of um, broth over that. Oh, colorful 
colorful mini tomatoes. Wow, they kai. Giant mushrooms. That's a big mushroom. They got them white too. Big white mushrooms. And there's the nagaimo. That's uh, that's again grated and it turns into this uh, very neba neba um, uh, sticky like um, not exactly paste but uh, uh, stringy like uh, substance. That's really interesting. You love it, yeah. You love daikon, you love it, yeah, I love it, yeah. Here's the avocados that we picked up, a couple of avocados. Those are always good. Put them in the salad, whatever. Love avocados. We put avocados on our sushi even. Yeah, we get the, the AB uh, or buy like uh, AB sushi, uh, simple AB sushi, and then put a slice of uh, avocado on it, a, a little dab of, of uh, mayonnaise and some thinly sliced red onions and you've got a nice piece of sushi oh solid uh, solid spinach yeah solid spinach is that popular in america it's you know spinach but uh, you can you can eat it uh, raw you know as part of a salad cucumbers the yeah, japanese like their cucumbers straight for some reason they've uh managed okay Oh, but sambo, you know, one for 39, three for 99. Yeah, it's enough. If you only need one, you only need oh. one. Sweet corn, sweet corn. It's a little early for sweet corn, but from Kumamoto. 159 for one. Of course, I'm going to make salad maybe for the avocado. Oh, we have avocado. Yes, we have avocado. We have asparagus here. Of course, the tomatoes, right? Momotaro tomato. Oh, Momotaro tomato. Lots of different. And these are myoga. Myoga, I don't know what they are. Hmm. I don't know what myoga is. There's the fresh ginger. And the uh, nameko, which is uh, a yeah, kind of mushroom. Shin Mei Queen. Okay. Shin Mei Queen, you know, the most popular potatoes here are these May Queen. In fact, they even refer to them as, as May Queen rather than uh, the Japanese word for tomato or potato. Um, and then they've got Rakyo. Rakyo is a, like a shallot. You'll go to Rakyo. Um, most often pickled. Pickled in uh, either sweet pickles or uh, spicy pickles. You don't want to work. More small size May Queen potatoes from Kagoshima and Kumamoto Tamanegi, the new Tamanegi. Sorry. And here's more ginger. Here is the I guess what would this be? Like chives, uh, uh, aonegi, uh, chives, I guess, uh, chopped up finely and added to soups or whatever. Um, these are soramame. Soramame, that you can see they're a rather large, large bean, right? Uh, there's one bean pod and with the individual beans inside there. Komatsuna, Chingensai. I don't even know what these things are in English. Uh, Mizuba, A Mizuha, Mizuba, uh, from Fukuoka. Um, lots of good stuff here. Lots of vegetables. Fresh ginger. Shoga. So the yeah, the old shoga is cheaper, right? The fresh that's more expensive because it's fresh. 
Whatever you like, dear. Yep. All right. No, see these. Are, this is fresh, and this is not, right? Well, I thought you liked the not fresh. Okay. All right, and then again, lots of different kinds of mushrooms. So there's the again the shiitake mushrooms. Did you buy shiitake mushrooms? No, I did not. I did. This is only good for. Oh, I know, for, okay. All right. Good for yep. yakiniku. Yeah. And then there's. The shimeji, another kind of mushroom, and the inoki mushrooms. Uh, or is that iringe? I can't, I, so many mushrooms, I can't keep the name straight anymore. And then another, another fungus here, another mushroom. Of course, here we are at the tofu. Lots and lots of tofu. All different sizes and shapes. Let's see. Over here we've got the, the sato imo. Not my favorite. I mean, they're, they're okay. Oh, and here's lotus root. Yeah, lotus root is nice. It's a kumoto delicacy. You actually make a kind of a mustard miso paste and stuff the holes in the in the lotus root with that paste. Uh, uh, use the Chinese mustard, so it's rather hot. And uh, then you batter the whole thing and deep fry the whole thing and then slice it up and eat it that way. It's quite delicious. And then, of course, the squash, kabucha. Here's something that um, me from Iowa took a while to get used to the idea, but this is burdock root, known as gobo. Burdock root, I mean, burdock is one of those... Uh, plants that grows wild among the soybeans in Iowa that all the farmers are just uh, bound to determine to get rid of. But what they should do is just pull them up and eat them, right? It's good stuff. High fiber. Um, and yeah, you can use it in a lot of different ways. Burdock, you know, the gobble, red onions, pickles, small little onions there, sweet potatoes. They've got Lots of, several different kinds of sweet potatoes. I also have a red colored sweet potato. Here we are at the milk section. Milks and yogurts and coffees, teas, fruit juices, smoothies available here. And what else have we got? Oh, wife is looking at the fish. We got the frozen fish there, of course, frozen fish, fresh fish, whatever you like. Oh, bags of chopped up octopus. Hmm. That's all bits of octopus. And what is that? Is that Ika? Is that Ika. 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 Yeah, Ika. Yeah, so squid, octopus there, and the squid next to it. And then the little uh, chitty men, the tiny little fish there. The, Actually, quite good. You cook them up, put that uh, scoop of those on top of a hot bowl of rice, and it's good. Mentaiko, famous in our neighbor to the north, Fukuoka, but uh, mentaiko, it's a spiced uh, fish eggs. Shrimp. Eel, I believe. Yeah, unagi, yeah. There's the eel. More dried squid. Oh yeah. Yeah, the you can order that. That is really good. Yeah, fresh, uh, fresh oysters there. More squid on the skewers already. Scallops on the half shell there. All kinds of seafood. Seafood and seafood. Do you see food? Nice seafood. Oh, here's the daikon pickles, uh, takwan it's called. Takwan is uh, my favorite type of uh, pickles. 
Let's see. Oh, Miyazaki. Okay, all right. Maybe we need some Miyazaki-san Rakyo. One ninety nine for that. That's not bad. And I wouldn't mind some Takwan, but do they have a smaller package of Takwan? Um... I like the katsu, the, the, the shaved bonito flavor. Oh, there's the natto. Right here's natto. Um, can't really see the natto. Oh, there you can see a picture showing the natto. You know, the fermented soybeans. Delicious, I love it. Um, kimchi. They don't have my brand of kimchi that I can see here. Although the CGC Korean kimchi is not bad, that's what that is. Kimchi. Kangkuk kimchi, so Korean kimchi. Um, and like I said, I don't see, is this? I don't really see. Whoops, where do I go? He's running away from me. Oh, here we go. There's salmon and tuna. Other fish, more fresh octopus. Seaweed, what is that? The, the, is that the kelp? Uh, wakame. Wakame, no, that's not. Wakame, what is wakame? I don't even know. And there's a tiny little fish. Fish, fish, and more fish. Sawara. There's a oh, fresh squid, shrimp, shells. Clams, right? More shrimp. Oh, little scallops, fish heads. Oh, fresh, fresh squid there. Deer. I keep trying to catch up with you. It's fresh. Yep, that looks pretty good. That's not too bad, actually. Wow, look at this big flounder. Or is it a fluke? I don't know. I don't know if it's a fluke or a flounder. Here's the octopus. Lots of crabs. Little crabs, right? Make this yakiniku. Yeah, I mean we could try you try this. Yeah, we could try. Or put it in the put it in the, the grill in the, you know the stove grill to either way I think. I don't really know. I'm from Iowa. We don't we don't know how to cook shellfish. You're the you're the Filipina, you know how to yeah. do that kind of stuff. Whatever you think dear. It's only two ninety nine. Okay. They're small. Let's see. Sorry, that was probably a little dizzying the way I looked around there. Dear, do we do we have we still have the kimchi no moto? Uh, we still have we don't need I and mean, that's a big one. We use it all the time though. That's true. Okay, we don't need it. All right. Oh, we need some yakiniku tare. All right, but we... Let's see, all the different kinds of yakiniku tare. Uh, the, the, the sauce that you dip the meat into. Um, I know they've got a lot of different kinds here. A yakiniku tare.
Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, Yakiniku Tare. Uh, Ringo To, Tamanegi. Kaibu. Kaibu. Pai. Ibita. I don't know. Sounds good. We'll try this. What the heck? Not the cheapest one, not the most expensive one. Middle of the road, yeah, why not? What else have we got here? Uh, different kinds of vinegars. Ajipon Ponsu. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's a kind of vinegar. This is the miso. Miso, the um, kind of fermented food. Sugar, dashi, kind of, you know, flavoring. And then uh, soy sauce, lots of soy sauce, of course. Got to have lots of soy sauce. And what else have we got? Mm, I don't know what's down there. Grape seed oil. Jams. Oh, it smells sweet around here. Let's see. Do they have any decent granolas? We got granola bars. Hershey's Choco Bits with green, the Japanese green tea filling. Interesting. Interesting. Kalbi Choco Granola. Kalbi Caramel. Hmm. This is not real granola. I don't know, it might be all right. It's cheap. Hachimitsu raisin. Balance up. Kyushu barley granola. I think it'd be closer. Where is this made? Uh, well, we'll go with it anyway. See if I can find my wife now. I love the katsuboshi and all kinds of different things here. Panko. Pancake mix. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? All right, now the tricky part is always trying to find my wife. Where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she go? There she is. I see her over there. Okay. Okay, that's some nice slices of pork I mean, there. This one is nineteen nine 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 yeah. for six hundred grams. This one is three hundred eight grams. I can slice this or this is good. I mean looks like slice again. One fifty eight and wait a minute, this is this is 300 grams, yeah, this, this is, is 600 grams. Yeah. So this is twice as much for twice the price. Oh, this is... Yeah, so why, why slice it? Yeah. yeah. Twice as much for twice the price. Okay. Yes. That's more pork, right? Mm -hmm. More pork. And this one is. This is. Not, I think it's good. This is the one that we bought before. Yeah. Yeah. Two hundred. Two hundred yen off. Uh -huh. 
this one has a lot of fat. Uh, you know, half of it is fat there, so that's more fat than we like. Um, oh, they got nice ribs here. I apologize to any vegetarians watching. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if there are any vegetarians watching, but if there are, well, here's the the suji that you like. That's all suji. Yes, dear. That's all suji. So you can get as much as you want. Seven. So four. 700, 800 grams. Five hundred It depends on how much you want, dear. The price is the same. And here's lots of stuff. Thin sliced pork here. Oh no, I'm sorry, beef. What am I saying? Uh, thin sliced beef. Get what you want, beer. Yes, sure. Nice uh, pieces of meat there. This is beef tongue, which is kind of nice. We enjoy it. Here's more of the thin sliced beef. Tongue, a uh, thick, thick sliced or thin sliced, or unsliced. That's the beef tongue unsliced, and the tongue sliced. And let's see, what do we got here? Oh, this is the whole mix here. Well, this is, I think, what we usually get. What do you think of that? But, I mean, all of these are about that price, and that looks like, you know, this is pork and beef mixed, and we've already got pork, so if we get that, then we've got all that we need. Yeah, That's it is. Why it's so expensive. So yep. this one? Sure. Oh, I don't, yeah. I wonder if I can use... No, I forgot all about it. I wonder if there's a, a bank nearby. Yeah. All right. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, I can. I can go look. Oh, getting ready to go shopping. Prepared everything except the money. That's not a good deal. Travel coupon. Let's see. All right, dear, what are we going to do? They only take cash. And they said there's no bank machine near here. That's what I'm asking you. 
I mean, you can't go anywhere, so do you want me to go somewhere and get money or what? Okay, that's what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so, um, yeah. So a little interruption in the broadcast anyway. So here, here's the chicken. My wife is going to continue to shop while I go and get some money. Uh, here's what I wanted to see. Golden Ale. Where is this from? That's March 1993. Where is this beer from? I'll have to look at that as I after I come back. Yeah, this is this is the section of the store where I spend all my time, right? Beer. There's my Ichigo beer that uh, I like. Right, they've got quite the selection here. There's my flying IPA that I like. The stout and the blonde and the red. Yeah. Uh. All right, so it's time for me to try and find something else. Let's see. All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to look for something. I need to use my phone, so I need to sign off here. Thanks for watching. Here we are in the parking lot. This is the name of the store, M-Style Miyahara Z, right? So Miyahara Z.